Hello everyone, my name is John Bottica and I'm the Director of Market Engagement. Well, it's certainly been a big year for financial advisors. The financial advice team here at the FMA has been really busy out on the road talking to many advisors. Over the past year, we've been across the country from Auckland to Otago and spoken to more than two and a half thousand of you uh, coming along to our forums and seminars. We are committed to bringing into discussion your expertise, your perspectives and ideas. It helps us to better understand the markets we regulate and the opportunity for you to get to know us. Transitional licensing opened on Monday the 25th of November. By Friday of that week, the first licenses had been approved. You should remember there are two steps to follow in licensing. Firstly, selecting FAP service on the FSPR and then logging into the FMA online portal using your Realme access to complete your license application. Many of you will still be considering your options and if you'll license your own business or operate under someone else's license. So not every advisor needs to be individually licensed. There are a number of different options you can consider about how to operate in the new regime. We have a number of tools available on our website to help, including exploring your options tools to fact sheets on your obligations of holding a license. Don't forget too our videos on some business structures and the how to license tutorial. While the license application window is open until the end of June, you shouldn't delay in considering and choosing the right option for you. If you don't have your license in time for 29th of June, or don't have an agreement in place to operate under someone else's, you will not be able to continue giving advice until you have a full license. In February next year, we are joining the FSC and Financial Advice New Zealand in their nationwide summit, Getting in Shape for 2020. I hope too to see and talk to many of you there. As I sign off for the year, may I take the opportunity to wish you and your families a very merry and safe Christmas.